the party now. You be all out of love in the air. Spent 10 hours on this flight, man. So I'm heading to the airport. It is what time? Uh, 10 11. I got my bonnet on because <laughs> your girl's about to get on a nice half a day long flight. It's so wild how like literally an hour ago we were about to go to bed. No. Update from, oh shit, Robbie called me back. He going, he probably was just thinking about like, wait, what? Facts, I'm like, he was very chill. He hey. Just no. realized. You getting everything. Huh? Oh, hold on, I can't hear you. What'd you say? Yeah, 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 I'm flying out tonight. That's that's the only thing to figure that was that needed to be figured out. I'm over here sitting down. Robbie texting me. He's like, "Don't you fly out tonight?" I was like, "Um, no, tomorrow." But it's 9:30. I don't leave till 12:15, so I mean, I'm good. But it was a principle that I wasn't. I was not locked in. Okay, I was just making sure I didn't know if you were rushing or anything. No, I'm good. <laughs> all right, but, all right, all right. Have a good night. I'll uh, I'll text you when I land. All right. All right. Bye. All right, y'all, crazy update. I thought I was flying out tomorrow night. Definitely flying out tonight. Why is the bed traffic? Yeah, it's 25 day? minutes away, and girl, we are literally two miles away. I'm with my girl, Chloe. <laughs> Hi! Yeah, oh my gosh. I'm gonna say, do y'all know Chloe? Some people do, some people don't. If you've been a loyal, long subscriber, y'all know Chloe <laughs> from, from literally, if you've been here from the beginning, from the OG, the OG um, Kentucky days really when we was both on the team babies so you know check out those old vlogs but like I said update I'm thinking I leave tonight I mean tomorrow night no I leave tonight to go to China my thoughts were I was leaving you were getting ready for bed yeah I was literally getting ready for bed just brushed my teeth just washed my face took a shower like go living my best tomorrow, life just ate dinner right? and then my agent texted me and was like hey are you, like, are you leaving tonight are you um are you in LA I was like, yeah, why? <laughs> you know I'm in LA. I just got to LA this morning from Orlando, which is where I was just at competing. And he's like, oh, like, when are you heading to the airport to get on your next flight? I'm like, oh, not till tomorrow night. And he's like, no, it's tonight. Am I tripping? I'm like, yeah, you're tripping. It's tomorrow night. <laughs> and it definitely is tonight. Um, so it's 9.30 right now. Um, I don't know what time my flight boards, but I'm about to go to the airport to get like my um find it. See that's the problem. See, I couldn't live here because you know how I said oh you should drop me off and then we go back, but like it ain't like oh you could just pull back it's up. Not five minutes. Right. Like Chloe literally lives at the airport. Like, and it says it's gonna take us twenty four minutes to get there. <laughs> I live seven minutes from the airport. She lives seven minutes from the airport. You can hear the plane. Like literally you can hear the planes. Definitely wasn't prepared to leave tonight. Um I took a nice nap today, but I'm definitely about to get some Z quill and try to sleep some more I'm about to get on a 14 hour flight this is my first time getting on a flight this long the longest flight i've ever been on was nine hours let me get on the wi-fi real quick so i can download some shows yeah. but yeah y'all i'm packing up my stuff put everything back and get my life together life of Masai. No, Many unbearable hours later. If we're being honest, baby, no one ever thought we'd make it. Hurry right, y'all, we made it to the yeah. room. OMG, we're in China. This is such a nice, is this your first time in League 2? OMG, it's our first time in League together. Ah! This is a Navy, if y'all know who this is. 200, 100 meter runner. Yeah. We're roommates, and we about to go get some food. Hold on, let me show y'all a full room tour. We just got in. Long travel, but super nice, super cute. Y'all, it's like seven o'clock in the morning it's here. 7.41. And it's 7 p.m. back at home. The sun is setting there, and it's morning time here. All right, y'all, we about to go get food. BRB. Later. All right, y'all, so we out here at the practice track. It's so beautiful. 
the weather is amazing it's a little humid but it feels really nice i'm glad i didn't get my hair done or anything <laughs> yeah we just got here really in china mm, too. Okay. cool so thank you, you. so you want to all right so we about to warm up shake out just flush our legs and then lift yeah i'm not hurdling today but tomorrow i will get the day started me and the navy are the only ones out here i guess everyone else is tired but that makes it better for us because no one else is around okay guys so i didn't get to use the weight room because it was closed so we're gonna check out the hotel weight room but if not i'm just gonna live tomorrow here once again once it's ready um but me and anavia did our shake out you know flush our legs from the flight yeah i never really felt bad how would you feel how'd you feel and how do you feel now i was super heavy getting off the plane but now i feel like a light butterfly oh that's good yeah, i feel really good you know just trying to keep the fluids going got my pedialyte and got some water their water is really good shout out to team china because this water is good but yeah, we better head back to the telly, get some lunch, see the hotel room. I mean, see the weight room, lunch, weight room, massage, Cairo. We got a lot to do on the schedule, and it is so early. It's only 11 o'clock in the morning. All right, y'all. Anavia found the sauna. <laughs> yes, y'all. It's so nice in here. Look, this is all in our hotel. This is a nice hot tub, cold tub shower oh, let me take y'all around the corner nice clean bathrooms for me they got the dyson hair dryer but yeah we about to get into the sauna i can't bring my camera in there because it's too hot but i'll check in with y'all post sweat my hair is gonna look a mess so we just got off the sauna and now we are headed to lunch and it is so pretty in here y'all the presentation is top tier the food looks so great so i'm gonna let y'all know how it goes they even got ice cream it is just so cute in here like i'm really enjoying myself all right guys we're on plate number two d rock say hey to the vlog wait you look dark oh say hey, hey d rock hey. Oh, what up i'm back i'm back i've been on your youtube in a minute girl. i know it's been since like Literally, since like freshman year. Oh, crazy. Gee. In China with it. Oh, yeah, I seen those. Is that hot chocolate or no. coffee? Mm, that fish is pretty good. Yeah. What's up, you guys? It is day two in um, Shaman, Shaman, China. We're about to go to the track right now. Don't mind the mirror, it's a little dirty. Um, I haven't really done anything to now I'm about to head to the track. It's like 1.45. Oh yeah, I need to take my vitamin. It's 1.37, but the bus leaves at 1.45, so I'm about to head down, but I need to take my vitamins first. Oh, we're about to head out. Look who it is. My girlfriend is here on the vlog. On the vlog. <laughs> no, yeah, this looks super intricate, super nice. But yeah, we got a hurdle workout today. Some blocks and some drills and then a little weight room action. Full day ahead. But we gotta get it in. Y'all, it is so hot. I just finished working out. Cordell um, here. I'm going to Hong Kong. We got Robbie oh, here. Um, <laughs> don't be on camera. <laughs> What'd you say? Sounds like 
who doesn't like being on camera. Some people don't. Yeah. Doesn't the bus leave in 10 minutes? Yep. Alrighty. Let's head out. Alright y'all, so I'm at the track and I just finished doing my little interview. I chilled out for a second. Now I'm about to do my solid little shake out. I'm not really doing much today because I did a lot yesterday. It didn't even, bro, it feels like I was just out here. Like, it don't even feel like I went to sleep. But yeah, it's just so unbelievable how beautiful and big this stadium is. You always look pissed. Don't say that. You be like this. Pump's <laughs> <laughs> fake, y'all. He ain't texting me back. <laughs> What's your thoughts, man? How you feeling? How you feeling? Right, we in China, what? It's really crazy when you think about it. We really in China, like, that's the other side of the world. I was looking at my location. I was like, trying to look good. You trying to find it? Bro, I was like, bro, I was scrolling across that globe for a long time. I'm like, dang, we travel a far way. It's going to piss me off to... To go back. I'm like, dang, I gotta do that again. 15 more hours. It's probably gonna be longer. Though. No, my flight says 14 again, so I'm oh, like, period. Okay. From Shanghai to Detroit, it says 14. So, where'd you leave from? LA. LA. Yeah, what you got today? I'm gonna get these hurdles, bro. I'm doing a pay me today because just the way it lined up with travel and everything, I didn't want to do too much yesterday. Mm -hmm. So, today's my only real day to get like an actual workout in some sort. Before the meet, since I'm be out here for a week. And then what you gonna do tomorrow? Um, tomorrow, chill, more just activation and stuff, getting ready for the race on Saturday, bro. But I'm Period. excited, man. Open it up, doing my thing, feeling good. <laughs> and then it's just, it's a Diamond League, it's being meet, bro. It's, I love See, that's it. what that's what you do. You open up at Diamond Leagues when you bet it. Yes, sir. I had to open up uh, in Florida at a little baby meet first. Coming here to open up is crazy. But that's big dog status. Yes, sir. One day. Shaking out and lifting. Okay. Well, I'm not lifting, but I'm shaking out. Yeah. I lifted last night. I came back. Bro, you want to be in the vlog? We can just wait. Oh, wait. My camera. My camera's kind of broke. No, my camera's broke, bro. I mean, Canon? Yeah, they don't even cover it. They don't it. care, yeah. I had a new camera. y'all so we went to head to the track to go do our pre-meet y'all haven't seen Devin this whole time because she be I abandoned in her but I haven't seen her because she goes to sleep at like six o'clock every night <laughs> say hey Devin yeah Devin's here with me y'all if y'all did not know she hasn't been in the vlog we barely been together and she she can't I was gonna come to the track with you yesterday but I was like damn 345 is kind of late but we had to the track right now I'm about to get our pre-meet in competitions tomorrow super excited Next time I come out here, it's gonna be race time, period. All right, you guys, I'm back. I'm back from the track. And I just noticed I haven't sat down and talked to you guys. I've just kind of been on the go or laying down or vibing, chilling. And I just have not sat down to talk to you guys. So tomorrow is race day. And right now my mind is just like, I'm just having a whole bunch of different thoughts. I'm not gonna lie. Um, but of course we're not claiming, we're not speaking anything negative never that like every time i get ready to compete it's always a whole bunch of different thoughts that like cross my mind and what i've really been telling myself is all i have is all i need like i have nothing to lose everything to gain nothing to lose everything to gain and with that mindset and mentality whatever the end result is going to be it's going to be you know this is my first of many diamond leagues and god doesn't bring you this far to leave you there he brings you this far to elevate you so i'm here for a reason i understand that and I'm just, I'm ready, but yeah. <sighs> 
So right now I'm chilling. I'm about to get in the shower. I just got back from the track. Shakeout felt pretty good. Everything felt really good. I just have to calm my nerves and focus on what I'm doing in my lane. Thanks to everyone who's truly been supporting me throughout up until this point. It hasn't been the easiest, but you know, we're continuing and moving forward. So it's a me day. It's me day, y'all. I just got out the shower, so not so much. to head down to lunch wow the sun is out today this is the brightest i've seen it literally since i've been here but i'm about to go down for lunch i'm leaving in about an hour and a half so i'm about to just like lock in listen to my music i'm about to put my scarf on because we'll shoot the elevator so we better head down to lunch <music> First time, slightly sluggish start from uh, Daniel Williams. Really going well is uh, Jovin Charlton. Charlton taking it to the rest of the field. Now coming through is Camacho Quinn. She comes late and she likes to, and she's done it again. 12.45 into a very, very slight headwind. Second time this has been held here, but Camacho Quinn, who was asked yesterday, what sort of shape are you in? And she honestly said, I have no idea. That's why I'm here. We'll see. It's just a question of blowing. Hey family, how are you guys? I am back post meet. And a couple of things. For one, first, first of all, this vlog has a lot of firsts of everything. First time competing in the Nike kit. First time, like, well not this race, it's my second time, but first time competing at a Diamond League. First time in China. Um, First time being this far from home. First time being here with no coach. A lot of firsts of everything. And I feel like I'm handling it very well. Um, Tonight's race was, um, it was cool, it was cool. I definitely ran a conservative race. I got out pretty good. I'm still learning patience and being in the realm where people are just as good or better. So I just have to stay within myself and lock in on like what Masai is doing. So like I hit the first hurdle and I only thing I thought in my mind was like, we not about to do this. Cause at Tom Jones, I definitely took a tumble. Um, Cause I, I was just trying to force my body to do something that it's not, it doesn't normally do. So this was definitely better. And I know once I run again next week in Shanghai, it'll be even better. Um, my training partner, Devin, she did super good. She opened up with like 1249, I want to say 1240 something. She did her thing. So I know it's more to come next week. Get back in the lab on Tuesday get some good treatment training and um just having another race under my belt like it's all just building this experience just in this realm like i know next race will be better and it's just so funny because in now that i'm a professional it's just like people just expect for you to just like boom like you just got it all figured out like i know i've run hurdles a million times but like this is just a completely different realm this is everything that i'm doing now is like new even last year like when i was competing as a collegiate against the pros like it still was different like now i'm a full-time pro like i get paid to do this so it's definitely different but i've been chalking it to the game like just i've been learning so much i'm seeing and hearing and just taking it all in because when i was a freshman and i ran at ncaa's like that was a different realm for me i was like a little uncertain of myself a little uneasy but then by the time my senior and fifth year season came around it was just like boom like she belongs not saying that i don't feel like i belong but i'm just building up my confidence to where it'll eventually get to that point of how I was at the end of my collegiate career. 
now starting over as a professional you know we starting over it's not always gonna happen overnight especially not the way that we we expect it to be so with that being said um i had to take my ponytail out my hair was so tight it was giving me a headache but i haven't ate nothing just yet i'm about to go downstairs and find a menu i think i'm just gonna order that spaghetti i got from the other night and call it a night watch some insecure and go to sleep yeah first of many y'all i'm so glad that you guys are here to experience this journey with me like when i'm like four or five years in I'm gonna watch back at this video and probably like shed a tear. Cause I'm gonna be like, oh, baby Masai, she's learned so much from men. Love you guys. I go to Shanghai on Monday and I don't compete until an another week. So I'm gonna be in China for one more week until I go back to the States. So yeah, tomorrow I think I'm gonna find a laundry mat. Um, I'm gonna find, we're gonna go to McDonald's. We might go to like the sauna and the pool. I'll catch you guys then. Oh, so we're on an adventure. We're in our first Uber in China. Oh, they put their seatbelts on. Let me buckle up. Right, so the Yo, this is so funny, bro. Yo, the fact that me and D-Rob, like, our back reunited is so funny. Like, we really was on the same team when I was, like, 18. Bro, we can go bro, McDonald's. They come to China to eat McDonald's. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I want to try McDonald's everywhere I go. Oh you do? God. I'm going to get a filet of fish every different. time. You're <laughs> different. Uh, what's up with you, you know what? I'm so glad you said Y'all love. Oh, this is a different bridge. Yeah, we've been oh, on yeah. bridge. We really in China. What the hell? Black people don't be coming over they here. Don't, bro. Like, we really we made wanna, it. We want about like 100, bro. No. What <laughs> <laughs> about 100, baby? We're going to go to McDonald's some Where way, somehow. On the way, back, on the way back. We need to eat. You just ate. You're so selfish. <laughs> yeah. Bro, look, no, 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 wait. I was saying, if what we would go, you say? Uh, look, bro, if we get over, if we get over there in a reasonable hour, bro. <laughs> over there in a reasonable. <laughs> okay, look, 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 no, for real. We get over there, we get something to eat, and then we're over there for a minute chilling, and then on the way back. Get McDonald's, bro. No, that's not how the night should go. Bro, Yo, like, put in the comments just a second ago. Put in the comments if you remember D Rock from the vlogs back in 2018, 2019. Bro, that's a granddaddy right there. That was so long yeah. Y'all, we made it. Oh, what? We're in China. Right. What's I don't know the if tea? you guys noticed, but. Yeah. Yeah, we're here. Oh, this vlog is gonna be so fun to edit. La 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 la. Say hi, Masai. Hi, guys. Oh, what's this? What's this burning? Oh, are they doing something in there? Are they praying? They're praying. They're praying. Y'all yeah, bust down on these little nasty crab. You eat the first one. Here, hold this. You gotta be the first one, bro. Right? There you go. So she got some little baby crab. Oh, you like trying new shit, huh? Yeah. It's some TikTok stuff. I'm getting yeah. big. She found something on TikTok, so we about to try it out. But the lighting is yeah, I don't know. It's not like <laughs> Wait, what they say oh, about yeah, these on TikTok? Back. They said they're really good. They said they... Wait, but they what spicy. They she, no, I don't smell that bad. It do. It smell like cheers. Two new experiences. This is what they look like. Hold on. Yeah, they focus on us. Why y'all get the little ones? Cause, Ready? Cause it's burnt. Ready? One. Two. <laughs> three. <gasps> oh, I want that. Oh. Are you kidding me right now? Hey, that thing ain't bad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's actually not bad. It's actually not bad at all. On a scale of one to ten, y'all, seven. I say that's it, a really it wasn't bad. I yeah. say it's seven. You want no, actually one? seven and a half. Right, it's just so we're in China for the Diamond League, and we crazy. are about to go to McDonald's in China in uh, Shaman. I think that's how you pronounce it. Not too much in the comments, but yeah, we got D Raw, <laughs> we got Anavia, and we got Freddie. So we all competed yesterday. We all did pretty good, but. Now it's time to eat some junk food. And no, their what? food is very junk? clean. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Junk over here ain't junk in the U.S. Yeah, yeah, that's true, that's true. But we about to see what McDonald's talking about. So y'all gonna come with us, period. All right, y'all. So we are approaching McDonald's and KFC. We gonna see what the McDonald's talking about first. Okay, so this McDonald's has hella stairs. First impressions. I'm stunned. Shocked. It smells really good. On the burger. <laughs> Guys, look. Oh, no, no, it's crazy, but from what we see too. right now, it actually looks really good. Yeah. All right, so the bag is secure. We just ordered it. It was $13 for two $13. meals. The bag is secure. Let's see what it's talking about. 
Uh-huh. All right, so it's only two wings in here. We have McDonald's. Me, Messiah Daniel. Let's go, y'all. Okay, friend, what's it giving? This is a real chicken. It's bleeding. Uh oh. I'm just about to say. <laughs> All right, so the nuggets look the same. You don't like spicy? <laughs> and the fries. Oh my god. Alright. Alright. Now you're reaching for you. It's giving um, an 8 out of 10. No. It tasted like American food, so I mean, it was good. Like, it didn't, it didn't, I didn't really have high expectations, and it did what it needed to do. What's your, what's your rating? Oh, she bad, y'all. Wasted my $13. The food was nasty because it tastes like American food. Sorry, McDonald's. Grip slaps though, y'all. Y'all should try it. Hey guys, what's y'all what's y'all rating for the McDonald's? I, hold I give it a smooth like six point five. Let me, let me it was, wasn't that crazy. What was yours? chicken was like an eight. Oh, it was fresh. Was like fresh. Yeah. Okay, so we would taste, you go back? We could taste the freshness a lot better, but no, I don't eat McDonald's in America, so honestly, I wouldn't go back. More the story is, I look cute and I'm full, so period. That's all that Post McDonald's, we are in. How many pieces in this? Like what is this? Like a souvenir store? I just got a little um, refrigerator magnet, and this is like crazy, y'all. Like, this is really my freaking life, bro. We don't know where we're going next. It's like 7 o'clock at night, and everyone is walking around like this. So crazy. All right, guys, so we're trying like this fluffy pancake looking thing. What is this even called? What is the name of it? I think it's a souffle, souffle pancake. Souffle pancake. But yeah, yo, we out here like in the city. It's giving like New York vibes. Just wandering. And we get a 30 minute drive back to the hotel. Alright y'all, so I literally just walked into the hotel. We have made it to Shanghai, y'all. I done hit two cities while in China. And it's the second city. So this is what it's giving. First of all, we love a full body mirror. Like this is the travel fit. This is what it's been giving all day. Travel fit vibes. They got the robes. I've been really rocking with robes now. Like, if they're in the hotel, I've been trying to put them on to feel like, you know, I'm doing something. The shower looks really nice. Britain has already, like, made it in. So, that's why the room looks a little used. But this is my side. I literally just do my bags on the bed. And, oh, they already got the little slippers beside the bed. Okay, period. And, y'all, look at at the freaking view bro like we really in the city like are you freaking kidding me like what this y'all look hella new high tech hi massage vlog um she doesn't know that I, i'm doing this right now because i just took her camera oh her camera's gonna die anyway i just wanted to show you the view <sighs> look at how pretty and me and messiah roomies and besties okay bye <laughs> right now it is currently monday night i actually just got everything settled in i got all my products in and this is literally the definition of i'm just a girl I'm back from dinner i'll catch you guys in the morning once i wake up I look like this because I just had to record a video, a branded uh, sponsor post. I had to do some work. You know, I'm a social media influencer on the side, period. It's crazy because I don't have any makeup on my face. Like, I literally just have my, my eyebrows done and then the lashes. That's literally it. I'm getting my clothes washed. They better not lose my clothes. But I'm literally getting my clothes washed and it's about to be so much money. When I tell you, I'm about to drop a bag on literally washing my clothes here just because it's like super convenient. I still have a lot of clothes. Like, I have a lot of clothes, but I'm running out of like compression shorts practice clothes underwear like the important things but it wasn't any point to have some dirty clothes some clean clothes like if i'm gonna wash it i'm just gonna wash everything and like i said it was just way more convenient i haven't gotten the bill back but they did say it was something about like 10 percent off so hopefully they rock with us since they know that we literally came from the states and this is the second city that we've been to yeah i'm about to head downstairs i need to get a little snack and head to the track today i have some hurdles and and a couple bounce runs time to head to the track i need to bring the phone y'all yeah, know i got two phones i got a content phone and i got my main phone see you Britt. <laughs> This is nice. This 
this looks this real awesome. brand new. So I'm guessing that's the stadium or over there. Y'all don't know which one's the stadium, but we're over there. All these buildings are like so futuristic. Darcy said that Shanghai is five years ahead of America. That's what he said. So he said, if you see anything weird, just know in five years it'll probably be over in America. All right, we found the stadium. It's so nice in here. It's so big and open. Okay guys, so we just finished practice. Now we went to go lift. I don't know why the music's so loud. All right, y'all, we got my girl Brie. How was hey. your practice today? It was good. I nearly died, but Ooh. we got to work in. Right, what'd you have today? I had 450 and then 3200. Mm, how was the 450? Was fast. It was fast. It was on pace though. Okay, good. But so you hit the I time. A, yeah, hit the time. Period. If I had done it by myself, I don't think I would have. I literally got one of the 800 guys. And I was like, please just pull me through. He no, pulled me through exactly you. where I, I was about it, to say, you yes. looked really good. He pulled me through right where I needed. Your brain is so fast. She came through faster than my PR. Stop. Stop. Yo, you came through. You had to come through at 52, right? Yeah. Yo, she's so fast. My PR no, in the open no. four Masai, is 54. Nice. <laughs> my P it's crazy because my 400 hurdles, statistically speaking, is faster than my open four. No, that's crazy. You, run like, you run like Vanessa. Vanessa cannot run an open four, but she can. I mean, I haven't done it. I haven't done it since. I think if I would have ran the 400 last year, I think I would have ran like 51. Yeah. Oh shoot, I'm not I showing think myself. I think same with Nessa, if she ran more. But it's definitely it. mental. I don't know what it is. I don't know. But the like, hurdles, hurdles just seem like it was something to occupy my mind. Yeah, because it's each each few steps. Yeah, yeah. which one do you That's think is harder? Easy. No, the hurdles is easier. Way easier. Period. And this I is from someone that. that has run, what, 53? 53, yep. <laughs> Damn, you are cold. 53 <laughs> and 49. She said that the 400 hurdles are easier. It is easier. Everyone looks at me crazy when I say that. The open four is hard. The open four is a different beast. It's a different beast. But y'all, Masai looks so good today. She looks so fast and snappy. I was watching her, I was like, oh my girl's fast. My friend is kind of fast. Yeah. <laughs> she got me blushing, y'all. You gonna come to the white room with us? Behind the scenes. Masai and Devin just being great, period. Come on, Masai. Oh, giving, it's yeah. y'all see the bag. Uh, hey. <laughs> uh, to your right. Uh huh. Yeah, see, it's barely. There. <laughs> uh, she gotta get the work in regardless. She got one rack, a bench, but she's gonna be great. Okay? Mm, it's a lot of people. <laughs> Yup, nope, get it in, get it in. Ooh, that core is strong. I could never. Ooh, her back muscles look good. Y'all, Masai is so fit. Go, friend. Go, friend. Go, friend. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, that's not bad. Huh? Third set? You tired? Oh, dude. Get it up. Gosh. I'll take it. 
<laughs> Yo, I'm holding our training group down right now. Okay. I got the best. Okay. Wheel. Okay, period. If you were training up, you was depending on me too much, and so I had to make sure that you get right. That is true. <laughs> too much. Not too much. <laughs> Come on, Masai. Nice. Big body. How was the lift? Quick, but we did it. We got it done. We got that good stimulation that we needed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That was the best lift I've gotten in about two weeks. Period. And she slayed. It was a little too quick. Mm -hmm. I mean, they didn't have as much here. It was practice. How was your hurdles? I think they went really well. Um, just getting more comfortable again. Mm -hmm. Just being free mm -hmm. and just being me, you know? Like Period. I'm not here for a reason. I'm not here for for just no any reason. reason. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Like I'm here because I belong here. So, you know, this is a new era. It's a different environment. Mm -hmm. But I'm just embracing it, like with some of the best people in the world. And heart has been good. I felt mm -hmm. really good. I'm you looked like good. Myself again. Wow, that means a lot coming from you. <laughs> you looked good. You are right where you're supposed to be, girl. Period. Thank you. Period. <laughs> My workout went good, it was hard. I felt a little like flat on the last like 30 meters, but um, Clayton she pulled me through. <laughs> yeah, well he pulled me through so fast, so like I was yeah. dying. Was you ahead? But, oh no, you said you was right on. Yeah, right I was on time. pace. It's just the way he ran it, cause he's a guy, right. so like he paces things a little different. But he ran really well, and he pulled me through. So pretty. Look at that. I know, so nice. Look at that, wait. The camera's not doing it justice. You can't see the, Everything. that's so pretty. <laughs> Wait, this is cute. This is cute. Keep walking. Oh, wait, this eats. All right, y'all, we made it to the bus just in time. <laughs> Say hey to the vlog. Yo, damn, I'm dark. So no, you don't. If y'all don't know who this is, this is Cordell. He's a one time hurdler, hurdle gang, period. How'd your practice go today? You look like a four hurdler. <laughs> can't really see How was your practice today? Uh, basically a shake out. That's like, no, like that's what I did for mine. No, he just said that his shake, so what I just learned was his shake out is over six hurdles, what? Four hurdles, six times. You look you look pretty good. Look nice and fluent. You ready to uh, do your big one? Yes, I'll answer that tomorrow. <laughs> it depends on how tomorrow's workout goes. Oh my gosh. Alright y'all, so we got fresh clothes. And they were... Actually, I'm not even going to say the price because I don't got time to get judged in the comments. But just know, do not pay for laundry at a hotel. These were for desperate... Des what they say? Desperate times for desperate, for desperate measure. What's up you guys? It's another day. And we're about to head to the track again. Last night I was so tired and I literally passed out. It was such a long day, but today I have practice. Okay guys, we just finished blocked. Now we're about to run. I don't remember the last time I ran 200 and my camera's about to die. Two of my batteries are dead. I'll see you guys if I can change out this battery. Okay, we're back. This battery should be better. These two have failed me horribly. But yeah, let's get this bread. <laughs> we do a for 200. Like I said, I don't remember the last time I ran. Good morning guys, it is Thursday, April 25th. Wow, can't believe the weekend is almost over or the week is almost over, we about to compete and then go home. Yesterday when we was talking to um, Robbie, yesterday when we was talking to D-Rob, was like, you know what I can't wait for? To compete so I could go home. <laughs> I was like, I mean, I'm, I'm ready to go home, but like, I'm definitely chilling here. Like, if I had to be in the other spot for two weeks, I probably would have been like, pulling my hair out. But here, 
the energy here is just much different like i'm really big on energy and how places make me feel and this is definitely a very like very great place like the energy here is it's kind of spot on i'm really enjoying it i actually want to come back i want to bring robbie here but not here because i don't think we're in shanghai we're like maybe 30 minutes away from shanghai but it's called shu shu zhao i don't want to be mispronouncing it wrong but y'all get the point but that's not the point but yeah so today the only thing we have on the schedule is to live i want to go shopping today because i'm not gonna have any other time tomorrow i'm not doing anything i have pre-meet so i'm gonna literally live and then walk around go to the stores and then chill out for the rest of the day i'm about to go downstairs and eat breakfast right now i'm not gonna pay for breakfast today because today's workout isn't that important like breakfast isn't that detrimental i'm gonna pay for breakfast on me day so that i can make sure that i'm real fit yeah, it's 9 13 we're leaving at 10 so i need to hurry up so i can eat and then get on this bus time to live Here. She's doing fine. I'm fighting back. <laughs> you fight right. You gotta stay up. Yeah. Yup, yup. <laughs> Yo, it's my ex roommate over there. And if you hear me, I said it's my ex roommate over there. He left me. Do you miss me? For free. Brittany, I love you. Brittany, I love you. Hello guys, I don't remember the last time I talked to y'all. I think it was last night at practice. Oh, who's that? Wait, um, I haven't really been doing anything. I'm about to head to the track right now. I'm actually going later today. This is the latest that I've been to the track because I got a rub down. So now I'm about to just head over a little later without Devin. This is gonna be my first time going by myself since I've been here. But you know, it's all good. Devin went earlier. She wanted to get it out the way, but we run at night anyway. So this is good that I I could get my body adjusted to um, going around this time. Yeah, let's get this money. Had to track, got a little pre meet today. Probably go one to one, one to two, probably one to three. I don't know, it's all gonna be based off of how I feel. Second time in league, loaded. All right, y'all, so we made it to the track. It's 5.34 and Robbie has a client today at 5.34 in the morning. So I'm on the phone with him right now before I get going. They got the track all set up. And this is my other agent. His name is Robbie too. Two Robbies in the picture. But they got this all set up. This wasn't like this the other day. I mean, it's actually feeling really nice out right now. It's gonna feel even better once I warm up because it is a little, just like on scale of one to 10, it's like a 1.5 to be like, oh, it's a little chilly. So it's not that bad, but I think that this is gonna be like optimal race competition weather. So we're heading over to the, um, the track now, like the competition track. And it's actually very cool to me that they let us get on the competition track as much as we can before competition. Because usually some tracks be like, oh, you can't, you can't practice on the surface until it's time to run. So it's actually really cool that we get to, you know, get a feel for the track prior to competition. All right, y'all, so the stadium is lit, y'all. They got it out here like we ready to compete. But it's been looking real different on the other days that we've been out here practicing. But today they got the whole field with the sponsors, the thing going around the track, the camera on the side. It's giving, so I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm glad that I'm coming at this time because it's going to be around the same time that I run tomorrow and I haven't been at the track at night when it looks like this. So I'd rather get the feel for it tonight looking like this than like come out here tomorrow like oh wow this is different we got kicked off the track because the track is actually closing so we're gonna go out here and do this pre-meet on the practice track but i am so glad that i was able to see how the track looked at night i'm glad that i've already used the blocks and everything so at this point we're just getting through it just making sure that i can uh get the shake out in that's the most important thing
I just finished the pre me. I feel so good. I feel good. I feel good. I feel good. I feel good. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm here to be, I'm here for a reason. I'm here for a reason. I'm here for a reason. I'm the best heart in the world. Period. I just continuing to tell myself these positive affirmations and things. Hair is looking a mess though. It's hella bugs out here. But that was a really, really good pre me. I am excited to run tomorrow. I said bring that in again. Speed it up a little bit. Period. I just got some 60 meter strides. We're gonna call it a day. All right, everybody, it is approaching bedtime. It's 10.05 and I am in the bed right around the time that I need it. Today was so good, I slept a lot. I got a good shake out in and tomorrow is my last full day in China. And it's competition day and it's time to do our big one and act like we belong in this space because I wouldn't be here if I didn't. So I'm gonna talk to you guys tomorrow. I feel super good. I'm gonna pray, do some affirmations, and call it a night. So I'll talk to you guys in the morning. All right, y'all, it's race day. But before, we don't run till really late. Talitha needs help with her hair. I'm with my ex roommate. <laughs> it actually, both of y'all are my ex roommate. Right, both of us. Oh, she loves If y'all remember, Talitha was my roommate in Scotland, and me and the Navy was roommates last week. But I'm about to help my girl out Love with her me. hair. I don't know what it's about to give. I don't got the same type of hair as you, <laughs> but <laughs> I told Let's you see. to try wetting it, just like around the the edges, the perimeter. So what do you want? Just like a nice, like yeah, slick back. I just Not slick back, like a nice slick ponytail. All right, let's see what we can do. Finished product. She got the little curly curls going. We have a scarf on, so we'll unfortunately, right? All right, we'll yeah, show the them the, at least just show them the edges. We'll get it at the track. Yeah. Please. Style by side. Mm. Style by side. If I was here, style that'd be the name. <laughs> All right, so I just got back to the room. I just finished eating lunch and my agent grabbed my credential for me. Like this is like a freaking mug shot. Oh, it literally looks like a mug shot, bro. But the meat actually gave us a gun, I guess. Like at the Diamond Links, they give you gifts every meat. And look, they gave us a little, a little gun. Let me take it out. A little massage gun. And it comes with all the little parts. This is so cute for like travel, you know? And it's not heavy. This is very convenient for traveling. And when you don't want to bring like your big gun, cause them big guns be heavy, be weighing that bag down, back be broke. But yeah, anyways, I'm about to get ready, do this makeup, and really lock into this zone. I'm about to shower really fast. We're going to get ready to go. Green nigga first, feel like crack magnificent. I ain't with the man in the way, I ain't with the modern day slavery. Girl, I ain't forget to watch the mommy. Oh, I'm never complaining, I'm never complaining. Yeah, I'm never complaining. That's what I've become. Who the fuck is fake? Ain't no running to for me. Will for none the glory. I don't hang with these bitches cause these bitches be corny. Got a lot of people trying to drain me of this energy. Trying to take away from a nigga. Alright guys, this is the final look. Got the uni on. I ain't gonna show y'all the rest of the room because that's why I'm putting the camera out because it's a mess. Like our clothes, we've been living out of our suitcases for like two and a half weeks, so I'm not gonna put the camera down because I ain't gonna expose me and my room break. But Messiah's slaying. Okay, and she's gonna run dummy faster. Period. 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 Putting the top on. I love this green and pink, but when I get home, I'm gonna have the new kit. So this is probably the last time y'all see me wear this uniform. Cause when they sent it, I was already gone. Like I said, y'all know I've been gone from home for two and a half weeks. This is like the second to longest time I've been gone from home. The bus leaves in like 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes. What time is it? And we about to be out the door. All right, y'all, so we're here at the practice track. Um, I think I'm gonna warm up in about 45 minutes. And yeah, time is now. There ain't nothing else more to do but think about just being sensual, period. It's nice out, the weather is amazing. It's pretty packed out right now. This is what it's looking like. I think he's recording me too. 
turn their way this time. Good start from Devon Charlton again. Can she keep this going this week? Devon Charlton, the world record holder indoors, the world indoor champion, coming under pressure again for Camacho Quinn. And Toby Amasan running well in lane six. Remember, Amasan running under protest. There was a red flag up on her starting block. She, I think, passes through the finish line just first in 12.60, so not the lightning quick 12.45 we saw last week, but understandable with the disruptions there. So Amishan will know she's capable of bettering the field, but the end result, I think, will hand the win to Jasmine Camacho Quinn. Camacho Quinn in a photo finish with Amazan. We're waiting for confirmation of the result to come through. Of course, Amazan's time will not count, so Camacho Quinn has done it again. Charlton in second and Williams coming through to take third. What's up, you guys? I'm back from competition. It was a very, uh, it was a better day at the track than I've had in the past two weeks. Even though the time wasn't that good, I definitely looked like I belonged amongst the field. I still was running a little conservative because I'm still a little, uh, mentally scarred from falling as bad as I did from Tom Jones. So I just have to get over that little hump and just, it's gonna be what it's gonna be. Realistically at the end of the day, because I never even had to think about if I was gonna hit a hurdle, if I was gonna hit anything while I was competing any time in the past. Like in, not even from just this year, literally in the past, before this year. So yeah, but this is a very, very long vlog. Tomorrow I leave tomorrow at like 3.45 and I get back to the States. I land in Detroit at 6 p.m. And then I get back to Lexington at like 10 because I have a three hour layover. <laughs> but as long as I'm on US soil, that's all that matters. Um, and the travel day isn't too, too crazy. I literally have two flights and then I'll be good to go. So um, yeah, this vlog was a lot of first times for everything. But yeah, you know, we're just checking off the boxes and taking it, taking it day by day and experiencing what I need to experience. So the next time I come back around on these stages, it's gonna be, I'm gonna have the experience. So thank y'all so much for supporting me, watching me, and honestly just tuning in, like watching my life. Like if you've been watching since I was a little baby, freshman in college to now, like y'all have literally witnessed my growth and witnessed this development happen. So, you know, this is literally just the beginning of a pro, a long professional career. This is my second pro meet of the outdoor, like a real pro meet. Like the Diamond League is real pro. Like. The first meet was a college little tune-up meet. So yeah, I'm gonna be looking back at this in a couple years. Like, damn, look at me when I was first out there. Now, um, this is this net. But yeah, I love y'all so much. I appreciate y'all for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned to the next video. Um, It's probably gonna be another track meet vlog or just let me know what y'all wanna see down in the comments below. I'll talk to y'all later. I love y'all so much and I'll see y'all in the next video.